playful banter, the art of light-hearted exchange. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting and fun aspect of English communication, playful banter. This phrase might sound a bit complex, but by the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it effectively in your conversations. So, let's dive in. Playful banter refers to light-hearted, friendly, and often humorous exchanges between people. It's a form of conversation where participants make amusing remarks or tease each other in a good-natured way. Unlike serious conversations, playful banter is all about having fun and enjoying the interaction. 1. Light-hearted tone. The most important aspect of playful banter is its tone. It's always light and fun, never meant to offend or hurt. 2. Quick-witted responses. Banter often involves quick, witty replies that add humor to the conversation. 3. Teasing element. A little bit of teasing is common, but it's always friendly and never crosses into rudeness or bullying. 4. Mutual participation. Both parties actively engage in the banter, contributing to the playful atmosphere. 1. Friendly teasing. You're always late, but I guess fashionably late is your style. 2. Joking compliments. You did such a great job today. Are you sure you're not a superhero in disguise? 3. Lighthearted challenges. I bet I can finish my work faster than you. Ready for a little competition? 1. Know your audience. Make sure the other person enjoys and understands banter. 2. Stay positive. Keep the conversation upbeat and avoid sensitive topics. 3. Observe reactions. Pay attention to how the other person is responding to ensure they're comfortable. 4. Practice. The more you practice, the better you'll get at banter. And that's all on playful banter. Remember, it's all about creating a fun and engaging atmosphere while communicating. Try incorporating some playful banter into your conversations and see how it transforms the interaction. I hope you found this video helpful. Keep practicing your English, and don't forget to have fun with it.